Hello there, everybody. Today we are doing a ice cream and cake inspired makeup look. I kind of have an outline here. I'm kind of doing, trying to do an optical illusion where the cake is going to sit. So I'm just starting out with the shadow, um, kind of just some grays and blacks. Kind of make it kind of like the cake is chiseled away on my chin. Like we've taken, we've taken a chunk out of my skin here. And then we're just going to do a bit of a rainbow cake between a green, a blue. I am darkening up that blue as you can see. A yellow and a red. I'm mainly using um, Mayron paints, but um, there is one made you look by paint, which is the shade Sunflower and Cherry. Sorry, that's two. That's not one, that's two. <laughs> We're doing that on um, my face, doing a bit, bit of contour just to make the rest of the face kind of stand out, and then just a little bit of blush. This pretty much disappears. Like, you don't, you don't see it. Like, the cake it kind of overpowers it but that's okay and a little bit of highlight i'm just putting that on and then i'm streaming so you you can tell i talk in chat so if you guys want to want to join us in chat in in twitch i definitely appreciate y'all being there um right now i'm putting on some white liner just to kind of make it look like the frosting and whatnot of the cake and then i'm going in with uh some darker shadows um, mainly from NYX Cosmetics and ColourPop. I'm using oh, like a plethora, definitely a plethora of, of shadows. So you can see I just did a bunch of different darker ones, just kind of go with that. And I put some gray and black just to kind of complete out that this is carved out of my face. My face has been carved away. I really like how this turned out. Like, I was nervous that it wasn't gonna look how, like, it wasn't gonna look like it was, like, card away from my face. And then I'm just doing some, like, sh um, lighter colors, um, just kind of give the t cake some more texture, and then just adding on some quick little sprinkles around the edges. It's kind of not really visible, but it kind of just helps. I feel like it just goes with the look. And then, um, now I'm just doing an outline of a waffle cone going into the actual ice cream portion of the look. I didn't realize how many times I've done like an ice cream or like a waffle cone until like this stream. I was like, I did waffles like not even like a few weeks ago. And then before that I did like another one, which was like a, another desserts one, which also had ice cream, but like in a different way. I also had like candy stripes and gummy bears and like all the other type of stuff. I'm like, I've done waffle cones or like waffly textures multiple times i just thought it was interesting um just using a light cut up brown here for the waffle cone and then we'll just be going in and filling in the various sections here just to kind of um give that that waffle appearance i'm trying to do it where i left like some gap so i can tell where the like the the upper section of the waffle the waffle cone is compared to the bottom it does i mean it all dries like the same color so it i have to use a lot of eyeshadows so I use a bunch of different browns some like orangey tones and then some blacks to create um an overall waffle waffle waffly waffle waffly waffle that's a new one for the books <laughs> just to shake in the waffle cone oh my god i can't talk Am I, should I have done multiple takes of this? Oh, probably. Am I going to? Oh, hell no. That's part of the fun. <laughs> we gotta bring that in. <laughs> I make so many verbal typos in streams. Just a little flavor of what happens over in streams. You should definitely come. Or if you want to watch the full vlog. I definitely have all those uploaded onto YouTube. They're just a playlist on my channel. I don't hit publish on them. Um, just so that way no one's sub box is getting flooded with like three, four, five hour streams. No one needs that. But if you want to watch any of the vlogs back, they're all on YouTube. They're also all on Twitch. But I think YouTube is a little bit easier to navigate and like go to certain locations compared to Twitch. So, you know, it's, it's there. It's an option. I definitely would love to see y'all there over there. I do by being like just once a week because you guys can probably tell. Um, but 
sometimes we're going to be doing a few additional ones. Um, at the time that this is being recorded, recorded, streamed, streamed. This was a stream. The audio is being recorded though. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a left-handed body paint challenge, which is, I'm right-handed, my left hand, I yell at it anytime I have to end up using it during a body painting stream, and I, I kind of let the community do a little raise, a little fundraiser with their points that they get, like, while they watch every single stream. If they wanted to see me attempt to do a look using purely my left hand, and that is coming up. I don't know exactly what I'm doing, but it's got to be something. It will not look like this. I can w almost 100% guarantee it will it will look like a toddler got into their mom's makeup. I don't know how else to describe that. That would be accurate, but that's pretty much how it's going to be. So that's coming up here. Um, moving on, narrating, back to narrating what I'm actually having on screen. I'm doing the ice cream drips and the pink kind of ran, ran away from me. So I'm, I'm kind of making one of the drips a lot drippier than it was gonna be dripped. The drip got way drippier, basically. Anyways, yeah, so just filling in where the pink is. I think someone made a joke that I, I did not realize was a joke. That's where I got distracted. Also, we're trying to like fill in time because I do um, these looks kind of inspired by, um, we do themes every single week, so I'm not the only one that's doing, like, the theme, but, um, the other two individuals, um, Foxtail and Danny, um, do their a little bit differently, they don't do them as body paintings, they kind of do the looks themselves to be worn, um, during their streams, but we all, we all do it, like, a, the theme together, so this week's was desserts, and I really liked how this look came out, and then I decided to do lavender, I felt like we got rainbow going on for the cake, but we don't have purple. So that's where then I ended up doing the purple ice cream. Because I felt like we just needed some purple in there, you know? And then I just extending out the purple ice cream to kind of go around where that extra drip went. That, you know, I wasn't really planning on doing and then just kind of making sure that there's no patchiness. And you'll notice I don't go all the way back. And that's just because I know it's not going to be shown on in any single picture. And then I'm just doing some shadows. Just to give that ice cream some depth from the um, waffle cone. And then from each other. And just like give it just some general shape. And then I'm using a white liquid liner. Just to give it some highlights here. I mainly use NYX um, white liquid liner. I don't know actually what the name of it is. I just called it the white with liner. I think that might actually literally just be insane. Hold on, let's see. No, it's Epic Wear. It's Epic Wear waterproof liquid liner in the shade white. That's what I'm using. Um, then I'm using some purple, just a darker purple from what I was using on for the body paint to do some more shadows between the two ice creams because they're not like. Like they're not they're melted, but they're like separate. Yeah. And then again, just doing the the highlights on the ice cream. And then once that's done, I'm gonna be doing some sprinklingles. Sprinklingles. That was something I said on stream. I don't know why, but yeah. So doing blue and mint on the pink, and then I'm doing um, mint and it's like a red technically, but it looks pink on the purple section, just to kind of pull in all the colors. And then I decided that I needed a bit more of a like shadow to so kind of separate everything from my screen. Oh, I got rated by Ginger. Look at how awesome her look was. Anyways, I'll put a link to her um, channel in the description because you guys should check her out. She's like not a bright painter. She's absolutely amazing. She rated me um, while I was streaming. I forgot to cut that out, but I'm going to that in because I already narrated it. Yay. Anyways, separation from ice cream from my skin. I think I went a little bit over ham. Over ham? Yeah, over ham. 
um, between where the shadow was and where it shouldn't have been. I should have um, only done it like on some parts of the drips, but ended up doing it pretty much everywhere. So I just kept going on it. There was like some parts where I'm like, yeah, I could have just not, and it would have looked good that way too. Like you'll see it coming up here where I didn't do it on that one side. And I think that looked really nice, but then I realized that like nowhere else I did that. So then I went back through and put the black in just to give it that separation here. And then I went and did my eyes. Did kind of a, like a pinkish, pinkly, purpley, a mauve, a mauve, a mauve halo eye. Yes, that is the shade of which we did. Just to kind of pull in more pink and kind of keep it somewhat neutral so it doesn't like conflict too much with the rest of the body paint but still like pulls everything together so it's kind of got that that kind of look from the underside you can see it way better in the pictures the color correction is not the greatest um for this for like the my webcam but yeah and then um, just adding a pink lipstick that kind of goes with the pink that we have going on with the ice cream drips. And then I'm using um, Irresistible Lashes from Alienzo Cosmetics for my lashes. And then we're doing like a blushy. It's like, a, it's, it's blonde, but it's got like a blush undertone to it for a wig. And I'm putting that on here now. This wig gets really tangled. I really do like it, but if you get any from the incels, I've noticed that they get tangled so, so quickly. But if you like have like a, not like a leave-in conditioner, but like, like a detangler type of leave-in conditioner. I don't know how else to describe it. It's called just leave-in treatment is what I use. Um, if you use that to brush out a wig, especially from incel, I find that detangles it and makes it so much softer like right away. And then I decided just to go back in and do a little bit more separation shading between the waffle cone and the ice cream, just to kind of make it more defined considering all the other like undertones spots were a lot more defined. And then just touch up the optical illusion with the ice cream cake. Now that everything else is completed, just make sure it blends in and doesn't look too strange. But yeah, that's basically the completed look. I'm just doing some touch-ups and double-checking things. I hope y'all like this. And I'll see you guys all later for some more body paints. If you have any suggestions of what you'd like to me to do in the future, let me know in the comments. And I'll definitely try making it happen at some point. But I love you. I appreciate you. Give this video a big old like. Subscribe if you are in so inclined. And I'll see you guys all later. Bye!